8.30 right now. I just woke up, so ignore that mess. But we're heading to get the chickies. And 75 Freedom Rangers. Well, we ordered 75, and they always send extra in case of accidental transit situations. But we shall see. We're headed that way. Just got home with the chicks, got them all water dipped and in the brooder. Now we're feeding the big girls who are very curious about all the little peeps. Let's see what we got going on here. We have five left of our original seven. We feed them organic, non-GMO feed. We mix their scratch in, and they get uh, dried mealworm treats. Keep in this tote. Keep it critter safe. Let's see if we got an egg yet this morning. So far, we only get one egg. But there'll be six, the Easter eggers will be six months old next week. They'll all be six months old next week, actually. And here we go. We got an egg. There she is with a big pile of poop on it. Apparently, they are only using the one nesting box, which is not unusual. They usually just pick one and go with it. They all lay in the same one for... Who knows why. So that needs to be cleaned out today. Because they have made a mess. But I got my egg. Let's get in this brooder here. We got latched a couple times. Oh, this one sticks. That's nice. Gonna have to fix that. Once again, I am freshly out of bed, about 7.30, 8, maybe. I'm gonna go let the big girls out. It's chilly this morning. Last night was rough with the chicks. Ooh, I slept with my hair braided last night, so just ignore that. Good morning, girlies. Since I didn't do much explaining yesterday, I explained today this is our racking house. We will eventually have rabbits as well. And chickens go in here. Hey, buddy. They don't have to be let out at all actually but we still let them out every morning figure out their little electric fenced in area we just latch this door to the chicken wire here are the girls this morning they probably don't have an egg yet I mean, they usually don't lay anything till about mmm 11 or so. That's a fake one. Yep, that's the fake one. Not yet. 
Hello, ladies. Is everybody hungry this morning? What, girly? What are you doing? This is Alaska. A great Pyrenees pup. She's about nine, ten weeks old. Cat sitting up there on the tractor. We have two of those as well. Chakra and smoke. We also have a Bernie's Mountain running around here somewhere. His name's Nelson Mandela. Time to check on the chicks this morning. This is our brooder. This is actually new. It's actually made majority out of reclaimed material. Tyler got most of it for free from work. All these pallets. They were just going to toss out. There's Nelson. Good morning, Nelson. Fixed that already. This is just extra insulation. From the inner, since it says all pallets, we just lined it with insulation. We filled most of the gaps, but we let some air in for ventilation because they do dust bath and things like that. So this is just leftover information, insul the information, insulation that I put on the top. Put a little screw here, little screw down here, just to keep it from sliding off. Um, there is a pole across the middle here, so that's why it slants forward, but they seem to like it, so we're just going with it. And Nelson, the protector of all things. Hi, buddy. Like I said before, last night was pretty rough with the chicks. Our thermometer was off, turns out, the one with two, and they differ by quite a large amount all of a sudden, about 10 degrees. So I went with my gut and just basic intelligence and decided it was somewhere in the middle. And as long as they were reading in a decent range, we were all right. And so far, so good. I made a little roof to keep the heat in last night. And uh, we have a little camera here. You can watch them from the house. Let's check these babies out this morning. They sound very active already today. And there's all the babies. Nelson loves the chickens. He loves the last ones too. That's not yours, buddy. Nelson. Yeah, thank you. This one here is a heat lamp. This one just has a ceramic bulb. We thought it might be enough, but it don't put enough, enough heat. So we're going to have to get another heat bulb to go in this one. This one was originally for our big chickens. But chicks aren't so much on it. We still got some sleepers. So looks like not everybody's awake yet. We supplemented with this heater last night. I just made them a little fence so they couldn't touch it, but it's not hot anyway. I can put my hand on it. Just a little extra protection to keep, keep them warm. Everybody stayed warm good last night. Still woke up with this morning with 72 babies. This little buddy's not doing so good. Got his eyes shut. Won't really walk around, do anything by himself. Drinks water if you put him in front of it. Don't really eat. He's not doing so hot today. Uh, can't get too attached. He might. This one might not make it. So this is why they send you extra.
This is day four of the chickies. I did actually leave the house today for a baby shower, but made my Irish exit and come home and immediately took off my makeup. So we're still ignoring my face. Congratulations to Michelle and Danielle. Baby Brown will be amazing. Uh, but uh, not really much to update. They're the same. We are still down to 76 babies. We only lost the one. He came in the box runty. It didn't do very well right out the gate. And then got very shrivelly and we lost him later today after you saw the video before, which I've already stated. Um, tomorrow we'll start their step down for the heat. Um, when you first get chicks, whether you know or not, you should keep them between 90 and 100 degrees under their lamp. Uh, but you want to give them a wide area so in case they get hot they can move away from it. But uh, we want to start step down early. The earlier you start their temperature step down and get them acclimated to the outside, the hardier they're going to be. It's the same as like hardening off your vegetables and fruit, any kind of plant that you start from seeds. It's kind of the same concept you want to give them used to the outside temperatures so that way when they get put outside they don't get shocked um because they could cause them to die uh, these are broilers so they take about uh one to ten weeks from start to finish um finish i mean don't tell them but uh the laying hens take much longer i can't quite remember when you put them out, but uh, I'll pop that on the screen, and um, uh, and they take much longer. The laying hens we have now are only they'll be six months old next Friday, so and they're just now laying eggs. We have one that's laying out of five. And, um, so the other Plymouth, we have Plymouth Rocks and Easter Eggers. As of now, next week, we should have some blue Plymouth Rocks coming, uh, 15 or so. And then we have one of the three Plymouths we have now laying. And so the other two could lay at any time. And then the Easter Eggers will be six months old next week. They're all be six months old next week, but they generally don't start laying till around six months old. So hopefully we have one that we call Noodle. She's the only white chicken, kind of yellow, like an actual noodle. Um, noodle has been laying around and trying to nest a little. So hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll have an egg from her and then we'll really get the ball rolling cross your fingers because now either we have to rock paper scissors who gets to eat the egg for breakfast or have one every other day <laughs> i think i forgot to mention before that the broilers are males and females because it doesn't really matter what they are if you're just going to eat them we don't plan to incubate eggs or anything like that we will just purchase a new batch when after these uh, we don't really have interest in incubating eggs which you can do you can save you know however many eggs make sure they're fertilized and so on and so forth but um, it's just not really the direction that we want to go but the layers we keep all females because you do not have to have a rooster in order to have eggs you only have to have a rooster in order to fertilize the eggs so uh, we don't also don't want to risk like you know cracking open a baby chick by accident when you you know he left the you didn't find the egg on time and it's already started cooking along you know we don't want to risk that so we only have female laying hens but the uh, the broilers are a deuce mixture male and female hens and roosters. A 
Okay, so it's day five. And it's the end of the first week with the chicks. They are already getting wing and tail feathers, which is crazy. Uh, we got them on Monday, but this is actually, they're seven days old. They were hatched Monday, uh, shipped Tuesday, we received Wednesday. You usually receive them at two days old because they ship immediately after hatching. Mm -hmm. We had to clean up about 10, maybe 12 pasty butts this morning, which was gross, but it's got to be done. Uh, chicks have, well, all chickens have a thing on their butt it's called a shoot. Um, and it has to stay clean at all times. They essentially breathe through it. That's where they poop. That's where the egg comes around. Everything is centered around this chute. And you have to keep it clear at all times or they can get sick and die very quickly. Uh, we have Pasty Butt is like the, they poop in the chips and stuff and then it is up stuck to their fur. Or not fur. They don't have fur. They have feathers. <laughs> it ends up stuck to their feathers. So you have to go through and make sure they're cleaned up. And we had about uh, 10 of them this morning. But this has just happened overnight. So I don't know what they were doing last night. They got wild and then it turned into a mess this morning. But other than that, that's all. We're still got 76 rocking and rolling into week two. Uh, so this is going to be the end of week one. Will be hopefully uh, the plan is anyway to load a video every Sunday, would fourth be the week. So um, this is the first in a series of ten. So one week down, nine to go. Um, if you have any questions about chicks, about just about anything, we'll answer it. You want to know more about us, more about the house. We do live in a tiny house. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yes, like you see on TV. Um, questions about that, we'll take it. Um, we do have the greenhouse uh, and the hydroponic system that we've got set up. We can answer questions about that. Um, if you want more details about anything like that, just let us know.